Well, now at 6, we are hearing from a crime lab analyst testifying that 85 rounds were found here at the halftime liquor shooting. This as we get a new look at the moments after that deadly shooting from last month. The shooting left one person dead and eight others injured in Tallahassee. ABC 27's Candace Blake joins us live from the courthouse in downtown Tallahassee. Candace, you've been following this trial for two days now. What else was revealed today? Channing, all 85 shell cases belong to 14 guns. That's that's including the two groups that were associated with law enforcement pistols. Officers testify one of those guns belonged to Darius Cannon, who was on trial in connection to that shooting. Cannon explained the chain of events from that night. Cannon says after initially hearing the shooting, he dropped his cup and ran. Eventually, he turned around and saw a man in a red jacket who was later identified as Tamalon Williams shooting in his direction. In Cannon's questioning, he admitted being scared and reacting out of fear. I hear all the shot. So I'm gonna run across the street. I just throw like it's like it's on the bottom of the sock, turn around the altar size. I ain't know the police are right, I would never even shot. So I got shoot. Cannon says he shot back twice in his defense and was arrested shortly after. Cannon says during his arrest his gun was clean and that they were shooting at him. Court will continue tomorrow and is expected to last until December 9th. Live in Tallahassee, Candace Blake, ABC 27.